right, guys. We've, we've talked about our electronics. You know, they're continuing to get bigger screens, faster processors. The thing that that does to us is that increases our power consumption. You know, I've got a chart of all the different units that, that basically shows what their power consumption is. The one thing that, that will make my day on the water go very badly very quickly is, is my graphs going down or my, my cranking battery um, disappearing. With live scope, we all know it's a power hog, and so voltage drop, especially in DC volts, is a huge factor. Right now, you can see on my unit, I'm running 12.9 volts, and that's because we've gone through and I've got the proper gauge wire. Everything is dedicated to its, itself, and I will hold this voltage all day long. So I don't have a voltage drop. If I took a measurement at the battery, it's gonna be, it could be potentially 13 volts, but it's most likely gonna be like a 12.95, something like that. So that is super critical with, with these electronics these days. We've been talking a lot today about electronics, power consumption, these new units and everything else. And so that's one thing we've been focused on at the Bass Tank from day one is providing our customers with the tools they need to get their equipment once we ship it to them and put it on their boats. I know it's frustrating for you, it's frustrating for me. I order something no matter what it is. I wait all weekend you know, to, to install it and then I spend my day off getting parts so I can install it later. So we put together a package so you've got everything, you get the product and you can just install it. So you'll hear me say it, I don't know how many times until I'm blue in the face, 30 foot, 10 gauge wire in the bag. Um, proper gauge wire is huge. You've, again, you've heard me say it and I will continue to say it. We also include three different rubber grommets. Um, we don't like putting cheap holes in expensive boats, um, but when we have to, we want to dress it up, protect our wires. We don't want anything getting cut there. We've got all sorts of marine grade connectors in varying sizes to, to match the, uh, the units. So those are in there. These are crimp connectors with heat shrink on them. And then we include the, the toggle switch. Use it, don't use it, it's, it's there, it's yours. Um, then we've got the, the jumpers that go on the terminal blocks. Two terminal blocks, one for the console, one for the front. And then the brains of the whole thing, the actual wiring diagram, um, so it makes it light, very simple from there.